Welcome back. Take a look at futures this morning. We are looking at some selling pressure not underway, although the Nasdaq is higher. The Dow Industrial is right now down 30 points. The Nasdaq's up 12. Uh, the S&P 500 flat down about one point right now. But look at some of these movers. Snap is plunging today. It is down better than a third of its value right now after reporting a double miss on earnings and revenue. The company attributing the weakness to tensions in the Middle East. The company is also issuing weak guidance. The stock right now down 31.7 percent, sitting at 11.91 a share. We are awaiting more earnings today. We've got CVS Health, Uber, and Fox Corporation out this morning before the opening bell. Uh, after the close tonight, Disney will be the one to watch. That could set the tone for tomorrow. Joining me right now is the Fitzgerald Group principal, Keith Fitzgerald. Keith, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What do you Great make of the uh, earnings season so far? I think it's been great. We've seen a lot of strength and a lot of the usual suspects moving to the front of the class. So I'm very enthusiastic. I think that the digital, the AI, all of those things are moving in the right direction. Adam, what's most important to you? Jump in here. Well, I love the fact that with uh, earnings season now over half complete, the uh, average surprise to the upside has been 8%. Uh, and in fact, there that's is a big number. That's a big number, right? Eight uh, percent ahead of the expectations, and the uh, growth, uh, Maria, has been four percent. So for all the naysayers who said, "Well, once again, we're going to struggle," actually, corporate America is is putting up the numbers. And for uh, someone like me who is fully invested and long and believing that we've got earnings, we've got uh, employment, and we've got the economy all on our side, that's a that's confirmation. What, what about the job cuts? I mean, look, uh, DocuSign is announcing it's going to cut six percent of its workforce. Uh, as it looks to cut costs and improve financial efficiency, DocuSign, the very latest company, adding to the thousands of layoffs uh, in tech this year as the sector resents, uh, uh, resets for the AI boom, Keith. I mean, look, every day we hear another boatload of job cuts. So how does that fit into the macro story here that seems to be growing? There's a very interesting wrinkle here that I don't think a lot of people are talking about. It's normal for companies to change their labor composition when you have a pivot, right? But the thing that this one's interesting is the composition of that pivot. To paraphrase Warren Buffett, I think he said, you know, you're going to find out who's been swimming naked when the tide goes out. There's a lot of excess weight at many of these tech companies, and how they refocus, I think, is more important than they are refocusing, if that makes sense. Uh, I want to get your take on the banking sector because New York Community Bank is extending its losses. Uh, now, lowest level uh, since 1997 after reporting a poor fourth quarter numbers commercial real estate exposure at the forefront uh, the dividend uh, all of this happening just in the last couple of weeks as Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says she's now concerned about the looming property losses in commercial real estate uh, but she echoed Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell's comments that it's manageable don't forget, Jay Powell removed the paragraph from a statement last week that the banking sector is sound. Okay, He removes the whole statement. J.P. Morgan Chase announced it's planning to build 500 new bank branches in the next three years, despite 139 branches closing last month from rival banks. But look, with the J.P. Morgan story, you've got to realize that J.P. Morgan is building an enormous building in New York. It's almost finished. It's, it, you know, it's going to be its new headquarters. So it, it's got its, uh, it's, got its stake in the ground in terms of commercial real estate. That's why it's telling all its traders, you better get back to work. No more, you know, remote. I don't know that that is actually emblematic of what's really happening today in commercial real estate. How do you see it? Well, I got to tell you, the fact that Yellen thinks this is under control or she has things under control yeah. is terrifying because this is the same group that missed the regional banking crisis in formation, that missed any number of a half a dozen other things that are roiling our financial system right now. So I'm going to throw that one right out. But Jamie Dimon is the one you want to focus on. We talk about the biggest and the best companies. He's the smartest guy on Wall Street. If he's building into real estate, it's because it makes sense for JPM, not because it makes sense for everybody else. Well, we already heard from Howard Lutnick and Stephen Schwarzman. When I interviewed them both in Davos, Schwartzman, the CEO of the Blackstone Group, the largest owner of commercial real estate in the world, said, yeah, commercial real estate is OK, but office space is going to have a major problem. Howard Lutnick told me to Bingo. expect $700 billion in defaults from this problem, office space. Keith, how is it possible that if you're getting $700 billion in defaults, it's not going to impact the broader banks and not going to take this market down? Well, that's the question that I would ask Janet Yellen is, you know, point blank, you got this value. I lived through the Japanese real estate crisis. I went through the Texas SNL crisis during the course of my career. I've seen this before. You can't have appraisals on assets that don't exist or exist at values that are completely fabricated. So there's going to be a day of reckoning. 
the bright spot for investors is you can pick your real estate carefully. A lot of people look at REITs for income. You can go to healthcare, you can go to tech, mm. you can go to aging facilities. Those things are gonna continue to pay, probably gonna have very solid rent rows. Commercial real estate, not so much. It's a great point that you make about some of those other businesses. Keith, thank you. Good to see you, sir.